Hi guys, Steve Suffolk Sifter. Welcome to another adventure in the cold. Learned from the lessons last time, came out a bit earlier, so it's about 2, 2.15 at the moment. I shan't be out here for too long. Just a single feel I've got, that's all I've got left. Uh, others are in crop at the moment, so we're going to have a, a go over here and see what we can find. Thanks to my latest subscribers to the channel, to Suffolk Sifter, much appreciated. Thanks very much guys. Um, depending on your settings, uh, when you subscribe, I may or may not see your YouTube name. So there's been three or four subscribed, but they're not on the list, so I can't give you the credits. So, we're going to crack on. Thumbs up please, I need all your thumbs. So you got to give it a hit, use one, save one for next time. There's work in the background because they're putting power cables from wind farm through, so there's a lot of activity, diggers and scrapers and things going on, so uh, you could hear that in the background. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be really good. I've gone past me 50, 50 subscribers, which is great. Thanks guys. Um, it's slow, but we're getting there. And uh, I think we're currently on about 53. So not massive, but hey, channel's not been going that long. We'll see how we go. But if you can subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And click like for like. And that little bell, when you subscribe, if you click that, then you'll get notifications of new videos. Also, um, I'm on Patreon. If you go to www.patreon.com forward slash Suffolk Sifter, I'll put the link somewhere on this page, and become a patron or consider becoming a patron of Suffolk Sifter. It's not massive outgoing cost-wise to make videos, but it does cost, and there's a couple of things which, is, uh, which have gone wrong, and uh, <laughs> I'm sort of trying to scrape some stuff together to get, get them replaced. So if you could uh, be a patron, that'd be brilliant. Uh, you'll get access to the videos first before they go live on YouTube. For all those pe people who are patrons, and there's not many at the moment, uh, you will see this video first, about two or three days before it goes live on YouTube. So that's one advantage, and there's a couple other little tiers, depending on how much you'd like to pledge, and so there's more advantages to be a patron. So if you could consider, that would be great. All right, gang. Let's crack on. Come out a bit earlier than last time. Just change this program. Try hot. Right. I say sun is a bit higher than last time. It's about 2:30 now. And as I say, we've just got this one remaining field really, which is <coughs> all I have. I'm over there. You may or may not see the flashing amber lights, but that's when all the power lines are coming through. Anyway, get stuck straight into it and see what we can find. As I say, I'm on, gone back to 3.2. I'm on hot at the moment. It's very noisy, as you can hear. So we'll carry on and get back to you if I find anything. I'm gonna. Open this one up, probably rubbish, but 73, nice repeatable signal. That's probably going to be, oop. Oh, I'll get my glasses because that looks like a coin. <laughs> I have bought my glasses this time, so you'll be pleased to know. I should have got spec savers, anyway. Righty hody, right that. This is a button. Is a coin. Yep. Very green. So I say it's a 74. Uh, even with my specs on, I can't really make it out. Obviously, a head. Well, that's great, that first one. Quite small, I don't know, is it a farthing? I see Britannia on one side. But, uh, and my poor eyesight, I can't see what it is. But yeah, great, first 
signal of any worth and uh, we're away with a coin nice one yeah, still frosty in places over there on the on the verge there so as they say holy chilly holy frosty bar so anyway lots more to do i suppose i've got about an hour and a half i'd like so i'll crack well, on i'm gonna i not sure film any half decent signals because what's that up there no idea because i don't think uh, there's gonna be a heck of a lot on here but that's, a, that's a 57 just there let's have a little look hmm. Let's turn to turn to crap, really. I'm still squeaking at around about 53, 54. Uh, goodness knows what it is or it isn't. Find it would be nice. That's not a oh, I see it. First random piece of lead. There we go. Sadly, signal you got to dig, but. Just a bit of lead. We've got high 70, 79. Just swapped over to Gary's ultimate. Just for a laugh. Right, Let's see what piece of shrapnel we've got here. Still in there, so it's not near the surface, is it? Mm, got a bit of a iron buzz to it now. This is never a good sign. Hey, my old mate, Mr. Lead. Unfortunately. There we go, well, fair depth I suppose, six, eight inches. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, lead. Righty Hedy, on to the next one. The ground is very, very wet, so we've had quite a lot of rain. And uh, so it could aid signals, I suppose, depth wise. 78. Could it be my old mate, Mr. Lead? We'll have a look, see. As I said, um, just film anything really because I don't think there's much on here. So, didn't want to get the situation I had last time where I ran out of light. It was a seven minute video. Not there. Oh, well, sort of, I'm getting depth with this. I mean, HF, I'd never, I was hardly getting a couple of inches. And they've lost that nice tone there, haven't we? So where has that gone? Has it turned, uh, turned to rubbish. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it, guys and girls? You just hate it when you get a nice signal and it turns to crap. 
Well, I must have flicked it out on the, the little bit of dirt because well, there's me nice mid to high 70s. I can just see it there, sort of round, but it's a wash or something, I think. But it'd be funny if it was another coin. But no, alas. And that looks like handle for a like a door or something, you know, like a piece of furniture, I don't think. It's a button that's got a little piece in the middle there which looks like it could connect or connect to something, but it's just a no oval domed. I'm just wondering whether that's like a little I don't know. What do you reckon guys? Any ideas? But we've got a repeatable 76 and um, got this little teeny tiny thing not sure what it is um, bit of a watch wind on us seems too thin really doesn't it so open to comments really you can see it. All right, it's a, a Victorian tool to get SIM card out of your mobile phone. <laughs> no ideas. Answers on the postcard, please. It's got 54, and I was just thinking, been here about half an hour, and then never found, haven't found a button yet. And there you go, my prayers have been answered. Not quite sure of the age on this one because it's a it's a four hole, but um, sort of dished in, looks sort of chrome. Think so. Whether it's a modern one, I don't know. There you go. First button. Look. Always got to find a button. There you go. Not more than ten paces away. Button number two. No, this one is an old one. Well, I would imagine it's an old one. It's got a shank at the back which is broken. Just a plain front really. So yay! Button number two. Oh that's a 90, I'm not expecting much. high 80s 90 but it's not on the top is the HF coil would find it so hopefully I reckon it's a can or a yes 89 what drink drinks can silver paper hey guess what silver paper it's amazing it gives a real good signal and there you go, someone's had a meat pie. Well, maybe not a meat pie. There you go. What do you reckon? Meat pie? <laughs> there you go, nice bit of, um, it's in really good condition. I reckon I'll send that away, FLO will be interested in that. Okie doke. In the trash. Right. Oh, 72, but I've just dug a couple of washes, so I hold that much hope. That's a nice clean signal, fairly close to the top, so oops, and there we go again. Looks like it's going to be a kind of a lead, that lead kind of day. Yep, a bit of lead. Oh well, that'll go in my bucket. A scrap. Should we get enough of it? Might be enough for a beer or two. I suppose it's about an hour in now, and uh, still got the light. Oh, the sun is going down yonder. Just uh, got an 87, I think it was. I'll find it again. 
84. Let's see what this is. So there's nothing major here. Well, it's very noisy. Can't get a spade in. It's very noisy at the ground. It's 72 now. Still in the hole. Oh, what's that? I just stopped myself there. I think I can see it. Still at 74. I thought I could see it. There's a wash running. Oh, could be a shotty. Yeah, come on, it's got to be a shotty. Let's go for a shotty. Yay! There you go, my die is complete. Lead, buttons, and a shotgun cartridge. So there you go. Unfortunately, cracking signal 87. So. Unfortunately, something you have to dig. Well, there you go. Fill me hole in. Unfortunately, most of it's been collected on my boots. Fairly, fairly wet. Right, well, I think this field's going to be done, or something's got to be done. Going to be done with it because there's several tram lines up and down here, all the way across. Whether that farm was sprayed. Just going to kill some of the green off and then plough, I don't know, but um, I'm going to keep coming here until it's done and then unfortunately that will be my lot, I think. There's a couple of sort of meadows, but they're fairly grown up, so uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do after that. So we'll worry about that when it happens. Well, what can I say? Cold very very cold just gone four o'clock not as dark as last time but i think two of these adventures in the dark is enough for me as we're coming out in the mornings i'm so cold i could hardly speak properly i've lost the sensation in my nose so i'm going to pack this in right now head home warm up with a coffee um i found one coin Possibly two others, but it's so muddy and greasy. I can't clean them up to see So uh, we'll see what we've got when we get home a couple of three buttons Maybe some pistol shot, but I'm thinking more along the line of um, You know uh, cartridge shot with big with big sort of Shot in so to speak um, We we'll find out we get home. I'll clean them up. And we'll do it in the warm. And I'll see you then. Thanks for coming with me. Right home now, before we get started, had to have a quick warm up. I'm going to treat myself to a nice cup of coffee and a mince pie because it's getting near Christmas. Sadly, not homemade, but it'll do. So, I'll be back after this and we'll run through what we've found. So that is a farthing, but as yet. I've not photographed it. I normally take a photo with the camera and then I can enlarge it so I don't know the date. That is actually the first signal and the first dig that I'm reasonably sure is a livery button. It's got some gold sort of gilding colour on it. It's fairly large and you can see in the back just make out the little fixing for the the eye so I'm reasonably sure that's a, a livery button which is quite a nice one this I thought was a coin but sadly I don't know what it is it's got two holes one in the center and one at the top I thought maybe I don't know ID 
I don't know. It's got something on it. But again, focus. I'm going to have to take a picture and enlarge it on the computer to find out. This, I'm assuming, is like a little, just a handle off one of those little square lock things for like a safe or something, you know, meat safe. You can just see like a shaft at the back, but again, good signal onto the standard buttons. I've got this one here. You can just see where the eye would have been. It's just a nice little round plain thing, really quite heavy. Onto the four hole buttons. Um, this one sort of looks almost stainless, sort of silver metal, uh, lipped over at the outside. That's, well, I'm assuming it's a, a modern one or a modernish one because it's not like this one here. Which is a an oldish four hole. Ooh, damn you, autofocus. So yeah, that's sort of a domed four hole job. Well, rubbish I know, but sort of weird. Two they were found near enough in the same hole. Sort of. They're the same size, sort of fit together. And that's really weird. I don't know, really. It's got like two lips there. Looks like they're sort of made to go together. Um, I don't know, a piece of machine flew apart. I don't know. Obligatory shotty, if it focuses. You have to get at least one of those. Now this thing I thought was a washer. But I don't think it is. It's got sort of a goldy gilded. This side looks shiny. And that's the holes oblong. There's a tiny little pointy bit. The top here, little sharp bit. So not sure on that one, but that sort of had a thing on the end or not. I don't know. This was kind of interesting. I don't know whether it's part of a watch winder or something. There's at the top, it's sort of a rusted blob, and then it goes down into a very small shaft. So anybody know what that might be? This ball, it's lead. First thoughts was uh, pistol shot, but I'm not sure whether that's big enough. Um, I'm maybe thinking uh, cartridge, you know, uh, sort of t not a 12 gauge, sort of a cartridge with uh, like a handful of balls in instead of a load of them. And then it's just tat after that. This thing, first impressions was, it was a, like a plug, like you, it's a larger version. What's in your mains plug, which holds the fuse in, but maybe a breaker or something, some sort of contact, electrical wise, I don't know. Same with this thing, haven't got a clue. Just a random piece of something. And the mystery item, the trashy mystery item is this thing. Totally worthless. Um, gave a half decent signal off, but what the hell is it? So all in all, not a heck of a lot. Not brilliant, but at least found a coin as the first one. Thanks for coming with me. Much appreciated. Thanks for the new subscribers. If you're interested or could consider please to being a patron of Suffolk Sifter and help me just to improve my video uh, equipment, that would be fantastic. The link will follow on screen. And I'm also on Facebook. I've got, the, I've got a website and Twitter details again are probably coming up as I speak. And thanks again. We'll make a point of going out in the mornings on the next trip this time of year because light is an issue. We'll, we'll do that next time around. 
once again thanks for uh, coming with me and please subscribe thumbs up and the bell please for notifications new videos thanks again